If you've been doing tons of research on how to build an Etsy plus print on demand business, but were intimidated on what to do first and how to actually open your shop, open your Printify account and get them connected, then this video is for you. In today's video, I'll be doing a quick start guide on how to start your print on demand business in three simple steps. I'll walk you through naming your store, opening your Etsy store, and then opening your Printify account and getting it connected. That way you can go ahead and get started with your business all in one day. Now, just in case you're not familiar with what print on demand is, print on demand is when you use a company like Printify, my favorite print on demand company, and you actually make the designs for all your products but then you go ahead and put them digitally on one of the products that Printify has to offer, like t-shirts, sweatshirts, tote bags, or mugs, and that item only gets made when someone actually purchases it from your store. When someone purchases, say, a shirt that you made digitally with your design from your Etsy shop, Printify automatically receives that order, prints it for you, sends it to your customer, and even updates the tracking number for you. So all you have to do is make the designs and do the customer service. And this is really one of the lowest barrier to entry businesses I've ever seen that you can start online. It's definitely not 100% free, but make sure to subscribe because next week's video, I'll go into all of the different costs to expect when starting your Etsy and print on demand store. I know starting your own Etsy business and selling print on demand sounds really intimidating and there's so many steps. So what I want to do in this video is just break it down step by step for you to make it more digestible. You're not going to learn and master everything in one day. All you can do is take one baby step forward every single day and in just a few months you won't believe how far you've come. So even if you're not ready to start selling on Etsy yet today, go ahead and pause this video and actually follow along and open your shop because if you get this piece of it done and out of the way, then when you are ready to start stocking your shop with lots of great things for sale, it will just be that much easier. Before we jump into the step-by-step -step tutorial, I do want to go ahead and bust two Etsy myths that get a lot of new people stuck in the beginning. And the first myth I want to bust is that you have to actually do a launch of your Etsy store and have 10, 15, 20 items for sale right when you list it. And this is just absolutely not true. Etsy is a search engine based platform. So most people already have some kind of idea of what they're looking for when they come to Etsy. They type what they're interested in in the search bar. They look through all the search results of you and the competition. They click on one and they buy it without ever going to someone's Etsy store. So I like to think of each individual listing as its own Etsy shop and you really can get sales in your store even if you have just one listing. And there's no better way to learn than by getting things up for sale and seeing what gets views and what people buy. If you make tons of products with Without getting any feedback then you won't know if you're on the right track or not so go ahead and just get started even if you've never created anything before the second myth that I want to bust is that you have to pick one specific niche before you open your Etsy shop. And if you're not familiar with the word niche, a niche is a specific type of design, like maybe a teacher, coffee, or cats. All of those are different niches that you could sell on apparel products. And a lot of people online will tell you that you have to pick just one niche. And I'm here to tell you that that is absolutely a myth. Again, since Etsy is a certain engine based platform I really recommend that you open something called a general store and sell lots of different niches within your store that's what I built my Etsy business with and I have hundreds of different niches in my store and that's really allowed me to build a really consistent income that I can pay all of my family's bills January to December and there's very few individual niches that are that popular all year round so I think I think it really does make more sense to get into lots of different niches so don't feel like you have to pick just one right in the beginning again just get started 
And if you're new here, my name is Cassie Johnson and I am a full-time Etsy seller and now Etsy YouTuber. I started my Etsy shop just under two and a half years ago and have sold over $600,000 worth of print-on-demand products in my Etsy store to date. So let's go ahead and jump in and I'll show you exactly how I got started. So first you need to go ahead and open up an Etsy account. So what you'll do is go to the link in my description to get 40 free listings, and this is the page that it'll bring you to. If you use my link, you get 40 free listings, which is $8 for free just for you. You can just go to Etsy.com and open your account there, but you won't get any free listing. So go ahead and click Open a Shop Today, and that will bring you to some questions that Etsy has about why you're starting a business. Feel free to just skip these, but if you do answer them, they will give you additional resources and information. So then you'll go ahead and fill out your shop preferences. So this is really just what language do you speak, what country do you live in, and what currency are you using. And then we'll get to the spot where you have to name your store. So what's nice is they do have a box here where you can enter in different words and they'll give you similar options below. So you can type in any random word that you like, anything that you've ever been called in the past, and they'll give you ideas at the bottom of like studio, store, boutique, goods, and different great names after it. And really I would recommend not getting hung up on this piece of it. It is not that important which shop name you choose. Again, since Etsy is a search engine based platform, most people never even pay attention to the name of your store. Uh, feel free to go to Etsy.com and look through some of the names of other Etsy shops to get some inspiration. I even had one friend who picked a store name based off of a paint color. So really don't overthink this step. Uh, just go ahead and choose something and then they'll tell you once it is actually an approved name. Name. Now one thing I will tell you is you may want to go ahead and open up a new Gmail account with a new email because Etsy shoppers can potentially message you on whatever email you create your account with. So do make sure that you open this with an account that you're comfortable with customers seeing. So if you're not comfortable with that, then go ahead and actually open up a new Gmail account before going further with this step. So then Etsy actually won't let you open your shop without creating a listing first. So don't be intimidated by this. What we're gonna do is actually fill this out as a dummy listing and then we are going to delete it because this is not how we will create listings in the future since we're selling print on demand. So what I'll show you next is how to actually open your Printify account, which is my preferred print provider to use for my print on demand products. And we'll actually start the listings in Printify every time. So this is again, just a dummy listing. So first it's gonna ask you to add a photo. So I went ahead and added a random photo that I had on my computer. So really don't overthink this, just pick any random picture. You can even just get one off of Google and you're gonna delete this right when you log in, so no big deal. So then you need to fill out the listing details. So only fill out what has these little asterisks here. So you can just type something in the title. You need to say, I made it. You're gonna change this to it's a finished product. And when did you make it? It is made to order. And then you need to type in a category. I just went ahead and typed in t-shirts. The next mandatory is the renewal options. You can go ahead and just click manual. It's a physical item and then just type really anything into the description. You're just gonna give it any kind of price. I just went ahead and made it a dollar. And then for the shipping options, I just went ahead and said, I'll enter the fixed prices manually. You'll put in just your zip code. Again, this is not the real information. We will delete this later. And then down at the bottom, you'll click USPS first class mail. That was just the first one there and do free shipping. And then go ahead and click publish. So now it's saying great job on your first listing. So then you'll need to fill out how you'll get paid. So I would recommend going ahead and saying you are just an individual if you don't already have an LLC set up for your business, which you don't need in the beginning. Don't overthink that piece of it. And then you'll go ahead and fill out all your personal details. The next page you'll set up your 
billing profile. So this is just going to be what account they'll take payments out of when you owe any money to Etsy, if you ever do. And then you'll fill out your shop security. And I would really recommend setting up two-factor authentication to make sure that no one can ever log into your account without first texting your phone a security code. And then on the billing page, you will need to go ahead and verify your bank account as well with a company called Plaid, where they send a few cents to your bank account to verify it, and then you enter that number into Etsy. So then you're going to want to actually set up your entire Etsy profile. So you'll make yourself a banner, make yourself a logo, fill out your about me, your frequently asked questions, and your shop policies. Now I do have a full in-depth tutorial of that already on my channel, so I'm gonna go ahead and link that down below for you to watch next. So now we are onto the next step of opening and connecting your Printify account to Etsy. So there is again a link in the description below for Printify. It does help support my channel when you use those links, so feel free to go to printify.com or use the link down below and you'll go ahead and click sign up. So you want to use the same email that you used for your Etsy account, that way all of your business information is in one email. And then once you log in, you will be walked through a store setup checklist. So you'll want to go ahead and add your personal details, add your store name, etc. So what that'll look like is you'll actually click this button up here and click go to manage stores. And then it'll bring you to this stores page and you'll want to go ahead and click add a new store to connect your Etsy account to Printify. So here on this page you'll select that you want to connect your Etsy account. You'll go ahead and log into the Etsy account that you just made and it's going to go ahead and ask permission to connect the two and then you'll go back to Printify once that is all set up. So then you'll go ahead and come here and click on this little green circle and we're gonna set up a few settings that you wanna make sure to have set up when you first open your Printify account. So first you wanna go ahead and set up your payment details. So you'll come here to payments on this side. So here you're gonna go ahead and add whatever credit card or debit card that you'd like to use to pay for the print on demand shirts that people order in your store. So just in case you weren't familiar with how the process works, you'll get a sale on Etsy. Etsy will take out their Etsy fees and pay you the difference of what's left. And then you need to actually pay for the shirt to get made and shipped to your customer. And then you get to keep the difference. So Etsy pays you and you pay Printify. You are the middleman. And so this card that you put here on file, you'll be paying for the shirts or other items that you sell plus the shipping cost to get it to your customer. I would recommend going ahead and opening up a cash back credit card if you're able to, because that way you can get cash back on every purchase that you make for your business. So then we wanna go ahead and set up the rest of your Etsy store on Printify. So you'll go ahead and go to My Stores, and you'll go ahead and click this little gear button to go ahead and edit your store. So that'll bring you to this screen here, and you wanna go ahead and just type in the name of your Etsy store. And this is actually going to be shown on the shipping bags that'll say that's who it's shipped from on the shipping labels. For the shipping address, which is right below here that you'll click on, you wanna go ahead and use the Printify default instead of your own address. That's how I have mine set up. And then the last one, your preferences. You'll go ahead and say for order routing, I like to leave this off. So order routing is when something is out of stock, they go ahead and actually select a different print company to fulfill that item for you. I personally prefer not to do it this way. I do have a full video explaining why and the other tips and tricks with Printify. So I'll link that down below. That's the five things that I wish I knew before using Printify. But for right now, I'll tell you to just leave order routing off and then you can watch that video next if you want to know why. 
And then for order approval, I like to have my orders go through at the same time every day at 10 a.m. So if I get 10 orders today, they don't actually get sent to production until 10 a.m. tomorrow, and that's when my card gets charged all at once and they start actually producing my items. The reason I don't have them go through automatically in say one hour is because sometimes people will message you wanting to change something like the size or the color or cancel, and it can be difficult to cancel an order once it's already in production. So I do have it just go at the same time every single day, all at once at 10 a.m. And then you wanna come down to the bottom and just go ahead and click save. Now, if you're a total beginner, I do have four videos that I recommend watching next. First is my branding your shop video. I mentioned this one earlier. It's gonna show you how to make your logo, your banner, and fill out all of your Etsy policies. The next one I'd watch is the five things I wish I knew before using Printify, just so you are well informed and know what to expect when using this print company. My third one I'm going to recommend is how to actually price your print on demand products. So how to see how much you're actually going to pay for that product, what you should price it for based on what your competition is, and know exactly how much profit you'll be making after all the Etsy fees. And the fourth video is the best one of all. This is my one-stop shop video. I show you how to find a design to make that's a best seller on Etsy. I show you how to actually make a few different versions so you have your own unique spin on that design. I show you how to make mock-ups, the pretty pictures that make your shirt look like it's already real, how to find your title, your tags, how to list it on Printify, and how to list it so it is for sale and all finished. So that will be the perfect one that ties it all together and shows you exactly what to do next. So make sure to watch those videos down below and go ahead and like this video and subscribe if you're excited about getting started with your Etsy print on demand business. I also offer one-on-one -on -one coaching calls and Etsy shop reviews if you're not sure if you're setting things up right or you just want someone to help walk you through the process. The link to those will be down in the description. If you'd like to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, feel free to go ahead and purchase one of those. I appreciate you watching this all the way until the end and I'll see you in the next one.